You know, I, I told our guys, and I think we got obviously a lot of new guys in there in our locker room, and told them this two days ago. You know, everybody's zero and zero going into MAC play. So teams all of a sudden get a new life, right? And I thought uh, Western Michigan had that life tonight. Um, the non conference probably didn't get, go the way that they wanted it to. You could throw their record out the window, though, because they got the big boy, Javante Brown, eligible with the NCAA changing the rule here mid year, um, which changes their team in, in a big, big, big way. Uh, just with his size on, on both ends of the floor, I thought he really impacted the game. But like I said, man, I thought they had, they had more life than us, and that's on me. And I thought they were tougher, I thought they were more together. We did not handle adversity very well tonight, um, whether it was individually. Um, as a team, you know, everybody in our league, it's like I told the guys, like it's going to come down to usually one or two possessions in a game, right, here in league play. And we all know each other extremely well. Um, you know, we got to be able to plow through adversity. You know, we got to almost get tighter, tougher, and execute better when things don't go our way. And that's got to be our, our answer moving forward. And, and again, our group will continue to learn. Um, you know, the good thing about league play, man, is you go to the next one. I, I think we play at Toledo on Friday. Um, we got another great opportunity to get out there and compete and try to get our first league league win here. Um, clearly, free throws and rebounding Two. were a major concern for you tonight. Yeah, well, yeah, those have been major concerns all year. You know, it's it's like I told our guys, man, we leave out so many points at the free throw line. I mean, but but even if we made those, to be honest, like I think it hides kind of masks some problems that we have. We got to clean up stuff on the glass. I mean, they out rebounded us, what, 40 to 27? They had 20 second chance points, 20. Um, and you knew what they were going to do going into the game. You know, they're the same team they were really last year. Uh, they added Javante Brown, you know, um, but they're, they're basically the same team you know, for the most part. And um, they're big, they're physical, they play hard. And we have to clean up on defensive glass. We have to embrace. We got called for a lot of fouls on our blockouts, too. And so we got to be legal when we do block out. Right, you gotta be legal, and and part of that's embracing that physicality piece. And I wish we could have played a little bit bigger tonight. And we just, you know, Jaquel got injured early and uh, couldn't go. Um, and uh, you know, but again, it's next man up, man. It's re rebounding is about heart and desire. Do genetics play a little bit of a a role in it? Yeah. I mean, like if a guy's seven foot around the rim and a guy's six foot six, and seven footer's going to have the advantage. But you got to clear the pocket. You got the low man always wins, and we got to clean up that area. I mean, it's it's been our, it's been an Achilles heel for us here to this point in the season. As you mentioned, uh, Jaquel wasn't in there very long at all on the night, yeah. and you probably could have used all you could get. They not only had a lot of height but some depth in yep. in that as well. So they could just keep bringing it and bringing it and bringing it. And as we saw, there were a lot of free throws that were shot, probably yeah. some part of that due to the the height thing going. How did you feel about the time that Reese put in there? I thought Reese did some good things. Um, you know, he's still continuing to get more comfortable out there, confident. Uh, Reese did some good things, though. I think, you know, he started to show his ability. He could stretch the floor at the five spot. He hit a three tonight. He had another jumper at the elbow as well. Um, I thought he had some had some good minutes, and hopefully he continued to get more and more moving forward. I think you know it's hard for a freshman. I've told I've told him this, and uh, and 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 just people around him like they have to temper expectations with Reese. It's hard to join a team as a freshman that's never played college basketball halfway through like like he did. I mean that's difficult. He missed two months of practice. Um, that's hard, and he's really done a nice job, and he has high expectations for himself, just as we do as well, but um, he, he's, I think he's really starting to really head the right direction here, so I'm happy for him in that regard. Uh, you came into the game really healthy and went through a little stretch there in the beginning where they were dropping like flies at the North Pole. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're uh, now uh, Ipsaro ends up coming back, Bradley, yeah, uh, you know, not so much. I'm not sure how limited uh, Ipsaro was, but yeah. uh, uh, I guess, you know, having those bang, bang, bang like that was pretty concerning. Yeah, it didn't help, that's for sure, but that's why we have depth. Um, you know, uh, injuries are going to happen, right? And you know, hopefully Brad, we'll, we'll figure out how long Brad's going to be out. Um, and then, uh, you know, Jaquel had sprained his ankle in practice. 
kind of re kind of did it here in the game here early on. He, I think he'll he'll be fine. Hopefully we can get you know, ice him up and, and he probably just needs a day off, you know, to get that swelling down. And Evan did the same thing, twisted his ankle as well. Um, which, you know, again, Evan's a tough kid. He's not gonna tell you if it's bothering him. <laughs> He's gonna play. Um, which I appreciate. Uh, but uh we'll get him healthy as well. We just gotta it's a war of attrition, man. We're not the only team that's gonna go through stuff like this. You know, it's uh there's going to be nicks and knacks kind of throughout the league play. Man, it's part of physicality. Second half, uh, had a little bit of a cold spell. Then uh, the shots started dropping. Yeah. The only thing was they were still scoring. Yeah. You know, number three there was uh, hit a couple shots that just kind of keep them so they yeah. were able to maintain their distance. Yeah, he he had some big shots. Um, B. Artist White did, and, and he's a good player, man. He, he was – he was an all-league guy two years ago, you know, like, and then he didn't play last year. He was injured all last year. Um, he, he's talented. He's old. He's a veteran. He knows how to play, and he's really good in ball screens. You know, I thought, you know, we have to get better with Andy in ball screen defense. They were really trying to attack that. Um, and he was able to get comfortable, get to some spots you know, where he could really shoot the ball. And uh, he did a nice job for them tonight along with Hubbard, man. I think both those guys, you know, I think they had 17 and 16 tonight respectively. And um, they got to the spots that they wanted to on the floor. And we can't allow that. That's, it was too easy. I know they tried to attack the basket and were getting to the basket, but particularly in the first half, uh, having trouble finishing. There's a lot of, a lot of big guys around in there. Yeah. So, uh uh, I guess that added to the challenge, shall we say? Yeah, I, th I think you got to take advantage of of guys that are going to block shots. You got to have an IQ, right? You got to make that adjustment. And you know, Crump and Javante Brown and those guys were blocking shots, and then it would lead out to a layup at the other end or a three at the other end. That's the thing about missed layups and shots around the rim is they always end up as a layup or three at the other end. So it could be a five point swing, a four point swing, real quick, and it happens super fast. And um, when you again, you it, when you play against a shot blocker, you have to get rid of that space. You got to go right through their chin. Or you got to use it against him, try to shot fake, pivot, maybe look out, you know, or, or use that, use, get him to help and then maybe dump it off to the big that's open now, you know. So it'll be a learning lesson for our guys. We'll watch film on it and we'll, we'll make some adjustments with that. Anderson had some nice assists there uh, early on, but yeah. I guess once you get to a point where uh, not only is he – in foul trouble, but uh, you know you're you're trailing, and that it it uh, you were forced to move a little bit earlier. But uh, uh, so that kind of takes away from his ability to capitalize on on his passing abilities. Yeah, he he made some nice passes out of that high post specifically. You know, he got some layups and and uh, off the elbows, but. Um, you know, he, he tried to really get it going scoring-wise, and he, he was getting fouled. He's got, he's got to make the free throws, but he doesn't mean to. I mean, listen, he, he's a really good free throw shooter. He just he, Tonight was, was not, well, not his night right there, and he shoots him every single day, and I got the ultimate confidence in him at the free throw line. Um, but, you know, he's, he's a guy that can post you. He's a guy that can hit some threes. He can, he's going to get fouled. He does a lot of different things. He gets assists. You know, we're going to continue to play through him both in the post and at the elbows. How frustrating was it for you guys um, – as hard as you worked down the stretch, but you just couldn't quite close that gap. I mean, I feel honestly, uh, Western Michigan, I feel like they rebound really well and they play hard. So I feel like they just did a really good job. We never could have adjusted that, and we should have done better on that part. Uh, personnel in this day and age, it, it changes a, a lot from one year to to another year. Uh, did you notice much of a difference between uh, Western Michigan that you saw last year and Western Michigan that you saw this year in terms of the personnel and their style of play? Or was it pretty much the same thing? Honestly, I feel like they played the same. I think they got better pieces now. So I feel like that worked together for them better now. But I feel like they played the same way, just trying to get the ball inside and rebound and being really physical. Um, for you personally, I know, you know, despite the outcome, you had to be pretty content with, with your contribution uh, to the game tonight, 20 points in 22 minutes. Um, honestly, I just want to make plays for my team. Yeah, they trust me with the ball, and so I just want to make plays just to try to get the win. Did they 
Did Western Michigan do anything that you hadn't seen previously in uh, scouting? Um, I don't think so. I just think that we're being really physical on the pose. That's about it.